All right. Oh, Gamora! Since when do you meditate? I don't, but desperate times and all. Stuff's been a lot lately. I get it. Hala, help me. Do I get it? Uh, so, how do you use this then? In, in case, you know, Rocket asks. Well, for one, it isn't about just holding it. You also need a comfortable place to sit, where you can be relaxed but alert, and focus on your breathing. Then you practice. A lot. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a lot more work than I was hoping for. Anything worth doing tends to be. So how do you do it? Focus was something Thanos beat into us early on. But it wasn't until I lived with the priests of Pama that I realized how... Limited his version of meditation really was How did you end up living with the priests of Palma? They're not exactly your kind of crowd with the whole pacifism thing Mantis introduced me to them last year when I needed to Heal They helped me in ways I didn't think were possible Helped how I guess you could say I was broken Thanos, the war, working as an assassin, they take a toll on you. By the time Mantis brought me there, I was ready to give up. I mean, I was miserable. Convinced I was beyond redemption or worth, I truly believed I deserved to die. But you didn't. Die? No. There was this... boy there. A con. The one you hugged in the village. A con was like me. Lost. His parents had died in an accident. He was combative, rebellious, the opposite of a pacifist. <laughs> the priest thought it would be a good idea for both of us to work through our scut together. <laughs> and was it? <laughs> At first, not really. He was a pain in the butt. But over time, we came to rely on each other. Thanos had taught me how to meditate in the functional sense, but not in the spiritual sense. Like, how to work through my trauma. Caring for a con, it... He forced me to reflect and process. And together, through mutual support, a con and I were able to overcome our demons. I can't picture Thanos meditating. I kind of always figured he was this egotistical tyrant. No, oh, he totally was. But Thanos also understood that aspects of meditation could be useful to his cause. Like focus? Focus, increasing overall awareness, pain tolerance. He came up with a series of exercises, fun little games for me and Nebula to compete in as part of our training. The worst part was, we didn't even know what he was doing until it was too late. What do you mean? Thanos' brand of meditation warped us turned us into hyper-focused weapons. That way we were numb to the horrors of his agenda. Killing people. Assassination is just a different name for murder. So how did you cope? We made puns. Bad, stupid jokes to shout as we were. Killing people. The more terrible, the better. Here, I thought you just had a really lame sense of humor. Oh, I do. But it was the only way to survive. And it was something we did together, a new kind of competition, just between me and Nebula, to see who can make the other laugh. That's really messed up, and yet oddly endearing. Yeah, well, even bad puns can only get you so far before your conscience catches up with you. Wow, I had no idea meditation could be so intense. Or beneficial? Well, yeah, that too. I guess I should give it a go sometime. Although I'm kind of scared of what I'll find. Who knows? You might surprise yourself. I know I did. Yeah, maybe.